Hello, and welcome to Math with Mr. Bill. I'm Bill Anderson. Today we have been going through a series of problems to help one of my students get ready for a final. This is problem six from his second midterm. We're given a, well, a function in terms of y, in this case, or just a relation, if you want. Um, x equals 2 thirds times y minus 2 to the 3 halves. And we're asked to find the length of the curve from y equals 2 to y equals 6. So not the area underneath the curve, but the length of the curve. And there's a formula for this. And you, know, you can go through the derivation of the formula, but generally speaking, we like to deal with just the formula for length of curve problems. But you can draw it out and take a look at it. But um, it's best to have the, the problem well understood uh, the, and the formula memorized. So the length of the curve is equal to, well, from one place to the next. And since we're dealing with y values, we're going to go from c to d instead of a to b. That's often how you'll see it. And then the length formula is actually kind of a derivation of the hypotenuse, the length of a hypotenuse. It's the square root of 1 plus dx dy, which is backwards from what you usually see it, squared dy. And if you want to turn this into an x equation, you flip the dx and dy, and then you take the derivative or the integral with respect to x instead of respect to y. And this is it. This is We just need to fill this in, and we need to work with it. So let's do that. What do we need first? Well, we need dx dy. So let's get that first. So if x is equal to 2 thirds times y minus 2 to the 3 halves, then dx dy is equal to, don't drop the exponent down, so we get 2 thirds times 3 halves, and then y minus 2 raised to the 1 half, oops, not negative 1 half, and then the, the derivative of the inside is just 1, so we're, we're good there. So I'll clean that up just a little bit. And we get dx dy is equal to y minus 2 to the 1 half. OK. So that all looks good. Let's go ahead and pop that into our equation. So we get l is equal to the integral from the first y value, 2, to the second y value, 6, of the square root of 1 plus, and then we've got y minus 2 to the 1 half, and then all of that's squared. And these problems are usually designed to, to make life fairly easy for you in terms of the calculations. All right, so now we get L is equal to the integral from 2 to 6 of the square root of 1 plus. And then the square and the square root, those are going to cancel. So we get 1 plus y minus 2 and dy. OK. Let's rewrite this up here. Now L is equal to the integral from 2 to 6. Now the square root of, we had 1 plus y minus 2. So the, the 1 minus 2 becomes negative 1. And so this is just the integral of the square root of y minus 1. OK. So this is the integral of y minus 1 to the 1 half. And I think we've done this enough now. We can kind of just jump right to it. This is 2 thirds times the integral, or no integral, times one y minus 1 raised to the 3 halves. So you add 1 to the exponent, you flip that result, and you put it down front. And we're going to evaluate this from 2 to 6. OK. So the answer is not going to be terribly pretty, but we'll get an answer. So L is equal to 2 thirds. And then plug in 6 first. 6 minus 1 is 5. So we get 5 to the 3 halves minus plugging in 2. 2 minus 1, 1 to the 3 halves. So that's just 1. And that's it. There's our answer. We could distribute the 2 thirds if we want, but I don't think it's necessary. And that is the length of our curve. So thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.